Hi everyone, welcome back to Hitman with Outside Xbox. We're back in Hokkaido for the final Patient Zero mission in which we have to take out the Patient Zero of the title, a guy called Owen Cage, as well as his doctor, Klaus Liebleit. According to Diana, the patient is super contagious, so that'll be fun. Anyway, let's head inside and scope the place out. Welcome again, here we are and here I am as Agent 47. I am going to sneak around the um, back staircases of the hospital because because there's a, an awful lot of security going on. It's almost like they've got a deadly, deadly virus to uh, contain, I guess. And I am gonna definitely need a change of clothing. So here's my first choking of the day. Getting an early start here. The virus is absolutely lethal. Do you know what else is absolutely lethal? Me. No matter the cost, proceed with caution. Yeah, all right. All right, so we're back for the final episode of Patient Zero, and I'm sad to report I'm not allowed to dress as a clown. This is extremely disappointing to me, as you can imagine. But just know, on the inside, I'm still a clown. Can we just bomb it from space, Diana? That'd be easier, instead of sending me in. What if I catch it? Oh, and uh, second choking of the day. I bet, I bet the air is really good up here. I bet it's really crisp and clear and cold. And are you unconscious yet, mate? Okay, good. There we are. All right. Just wait for these guys to move. Oh. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Diana, why didn't you give me a suit? Okay, well, I expect 47's a vegan. Seems like something he'd do, so I'll probably be fine. What's the problem? Shit. 47, listen. Diana! I've, I've never heard you swear before. Also, I'll have that cleaver. Okay, that's too unconscious. Oh, what? 47, listen. I've registered another infected patient. The virus is spreading. Oh! You had one job, hospital, and that's not to spread the virus. I thought you had, like, quarantine measures and things. All right, well, I guess I'll, I'm off to the hospital part of this hospital where they're keeping the sick people. Oh, see my security camera. I have to do something about that at some point. Okay. Okay, guard on his own. I'm going to need an outfit before I can get into the building because of the way the locks work here in Hokkaido. There's, like, an RFID chip in their trousers. Oh. Uh oh, that's gone badly wrong. Well, this is the morgue, you can tell because it's red and spooky. And this guy's on a weird angle, so I'm going to coin him so he moves. Because you're on a weird angle. Oh. And I'll be trying choking you out on that angle. There we go. Look, it's fine, you'll be fine, I just need your trousers. That sounds weird, but <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's get you inside out of the cold, because you're not a target. That's the Andy Hitman guarantee. Maximum comfort for all unconscious guards. Wherever possible. You need to drop the axe. You hear? <laughs> wow. Well, he wasn't infected, but he, he's. Wow, that's fully in his head. Right. Okay. Off to a strong start. Uh oh. And I reckon a doctor's outfit is going to get me more places than. Oh, cleaver. Yeah, I'll have that. I reckon. You never know when you might need a meat cleaver. Like, if my arm gets infected, I can, like, hack it off and then save myself. I think that's how medicine works. All right. So, like I say, get this doctor's uniform, um, stick it on, and he's got, like, a little face mask. So maybe that will keep me from being infected with the deadly, deadly virus. Uh, I guess I guess this, this will do for the moment. I'll find somewhere better for you in a second. All right. Who's in the mortuary? Good. Who's in the mortuary? Sir, I will shoot you. I'm coming for you! Don't move! Right. Down the stairs. Okay, I'm a bodyguard now. That's fine. So, next step. Oh, there's like six infected. Man. So many people to treat and or kill. Oh. Just don't look at me while I sneak my way gradually towards the quarantine zone, I think, is up here. Now, I want to choke this guy in his weird haircut out but there's a guy on the other side of that window and he will definitely see me and i mean probably not fully on board with that but he he's got to move sometime right good all right not looking surprise oh, 
And he's got blood on his shoes and everything. I'm not sure you're supposed to end up with that much of your work on you, mate. Anyway, get in the cupboard. Let's close that door and hope no one goes down there as part of their regular patrol. Um, cool. And I've got a bit of protection, I guess, because I've got a face mask on now. Good. Probably will stop that deadly virus that is highly contagious and potentially an airborne pathogen. Oh, and the security cameras are in here, so I can just take care of that while I'm here. That'll save me having to do it later. Uh, this is great. All right. What? 47, listen. I've registered another infected patient. The virus is spreading. What? I've shared the data with you. Who are you? How did you get infected? Oh, my God. Have you not been using your alcohol hand gel? There you go. That's target number one. Patient, literally patient zero, with the little yellow skull over him. And, uh, he's surrounded by people in bio-hazmat suits. Which actually would be really good for me. Better than a paper face mask. So, maybe I can just lure this guy out of his his familiar oh patrol route and... Come on. Come on. Oh, alright. Maybe not. Look, just whack him in the back. There we go. Third choking of the... No, fourth choking of the day. No fatalities. I mean, eight lethally infected people, so eight fatalities, but you can't pin them on me, Diana. I didn't make this virus. All right, let's get this dude out of the way. Nine infected. Well, I'm going to get this guy hidden first, just in case anyone comes down these stairs. Somewhere comfy, like this wardrobe with the gross mortician. It's that Andy Hitman guarantee again. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Stem cell controls. Hazmat suit? Ooh, that's, oh, that's him! Gosh, okay, I need to stay away from him. I didn't realise I could just walk straight in. Man, okay. There's six people infected. Oh, jeez. Eight? Oh, I'm going to have to kill everyone. Man, eleven infected. This is really stressing me out. I'm going to have so much cleaning up to do, literally and figuratively, in the sense that I'll have to... Oh, thirteen! Kill thirteen people, I think, is the end game here. I don't think Agent 47 is going to devise a cure of his own making and then and then deliver it to 13 people. Now, there's like major security on this room, which isn't usually there, which makes me think that there's something I want in it. I'm going to see if he'll let me in if I dress up as a mortician. Yeah, there he is. Just sitting there. Just sitting there like he's not patient zero and being left alone. So how about that cleaver? See, I knew it would come in handy. And then... Ha! See? The end of Owen Cage. Perfect. <laughs> That's the now, quarantine the regulation way to kill a infected patient, is with a cleaver in the neck. And then second target is the is the Baden, who is trying to use, I guess, like weaponize the virus or something. I definitely, definitely need a hazmat suit. Is there not any in the laundry bit? I, I, no, I guess that's not, I guess that's not a laundry bin. I guess it's full of highly corrosive chemicals. Oh, but I, I can dispose of the bodies in there. Oh, amazing. All right. Well, let's accidentally shoot this thing. Boom. Oh, they found his body. It's fine. I'll be out of here in a minute. In just a minute. Let's, uh, nothing fancy. Just a silenced shot in the... You cannot be allowed to leave the facility. Yeah, in the back of the hazmat helmet. And then, yeah, good night. To you too. You're lucky you're not infected, mate. Fourteen infected now, by the way. Um, basically, it's going to be everyone except people in hazmat suits, like me, for instance. Hello, it's me, the mortician. Love to uh, dissect bodies, get all their insides on my shoes. Uh, oh, if you're wondering where my hair went. Um, uh, oh, uh, I've got that virus that's been going around. It's um, a side effect. Don't worry, I hear it's not contagious. All right, nothing through there. How about in here? What? No, it's fine. Look, am I allowed in here or not? Will you make up your mind? Okay, good. Oh, there's 11 people infected now. This is like a zombie movie. It's like Hitman crossed with zombies. This is awesome, right? Yeah, Command Central, you read me? See, if I find the uh, vaccine, they've got a vaccine, then I can have some of that and hopefully, hopefully I can take this um, hazmat suit off because it looks kind of suspicious and terrifying. Uh, right, what's this? Inject vaccine. Yeah, I mean, why not? Let's have a go. 
Can't hurt, right? <laughs> Voice seven, just jam it in your neck. See what it does. What did that do? That should provide you with immunity to the Nabazov virus. Oh! Oh, that was a stroke of luck. All right, good. <laughs> okay. Man, Mortuary was definitely the place to come first. But I, I need his outfit. Oh, my God. No respect for the... Look at the dragon down the stairs. That's outrageous. I can't believe you'd do that. Oh, look, yeah, here we go. Um, this all looks science-y. You look like science. And you, the green one, 47. No, 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 not the red one, the green one. I reckon the green one is good for you. Stick it in your neck right through the rubber of your hazmat suit. And then, did I do good, Diana? Was that good? Lethal? Not lethal. Immunity. Perfect. I knew that. <laughs> it's not like I just randomly syringe myself with things I find lying around. Now, I should probably take care of that infected person before they start infecting everyone else. Otherwise, things are going to spiral out of control, which would be bad. Okay, now to tidy up all these 24 infected um, patients, not patients, prospective victims, victims to be. And I do it with a heavy heart and a clean conscience because you're all doomed. Right, there we go. Brilliant. Not at all terrifying biohazard suit. I think she's up here. All right, there she is. So there's a guy up there watching her, but crucially not getting infected. So that's good. Uh, it's a good immune system on that guy. Probably a vegan. Right, I'm going to drag you up the stairs, see how you like it. I mean, you're dead. You don't like much anymore. But I feel like I'm wasting time while a lot of people are getting infected. Be sure to take care of it before leaving. We cannot allow it to spread. That was all a bit breaking bad, wasn't it? Oh, oh, that's one of the guys. Now, 24 people is a lot of people to whack. And so let's try uh, a, a mine. Maybe take out these three all at once. Got to economise when you've got this many people to... Oh, it's two. Two. Two's good. Two's good. There, there we go. He's moving. They're both there. They are both there. What have I got? What, what can I... Uh... Remote breaching charge? Hmm. The board will consider all extraordinary eliminations to be permissible targets. That's very that's good of you, Diana. The board says I can terminate these twenty-three innocent people, do they? Good. Well, I'll just get right on that. Okay, I am sorry about this, but the virus is deadly anyway, so I'm just sort of moving things along. Uh, also, I can't drag you down these stairs as there are windows and doors and people, so I'm afraid you're going over the balcony. Extraordinary eliminations to be permissible targets. Permissible. There you go. It was totally permissible. What are you even complaining about? Ah, so many! Stop infecting each other, you monsters. Now they know I'm on a spree of mercy. A mercy spree. Don't get up! There you go. Stay down, please. And you, and you, and it's for your own good. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, you, you weren't even infected, but sorry about it. And you, and you, and you still up. Oh, stay down, please. I'm just, I'm very, I'm a very busy man. I've got 16 people to kill today. And it's, I've not even had lunch. Very grouchy, very, very low blood sugar right now. Oh no, can I get her out of here? Oh, oh no, I can, okay. Is it? Whoa! Oh boy! Whoa! Okay. Apparently, another side effect of the virus is that it turns your bones to rubber. Anyway, she's out. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I've deleted all the security tapes, so no one saw that. That's a funky rubber suit. Loving it. You've got exactly the same rubber suit, mate. Well, okay. Morgue doctor, it is. Morgue doctor time again. I mean, at least the blood splatter will uh, be excused and understandable because I'm a morgue doctor. Oh, this guy. See, they're on to me. I'm, there's, I have no choice but to take them out. He's not even infected, but, you know, just a mercy hammer in the head. If he can stay unconscious, that would be perfect. You'll thank me when you wake up. And one for you, wrench for you, just working through the whole the whole toolbox. Mm, just going to pop this out and drop it. Oops. You, stop staring at fish. 
Be choked unconscious. This is a mercy killing. Please cooperate. Am I in combat? I'm hunted, apparently. Oh, oh, he's infected. Oh, I've got to... I'm sorry, but this is part of the mission, actually. Unlike all the others. Sorry, I'm going to have to dispose of you in this very safe acid bath. Oh, this cover's full, isn't it? Of mortuary guys and security guards, if you're keeping track for uh, filing purposes. Okay, there must be somewhere else to put her. But people aren't going to find her or breathe in her germs. 16 infected. The number's not going down fast, is it? That guy's running away, but I've changed my outfit. So, ah, deal with that, security. The board will consider all extraordinary eliminations to be permissible targets. Okay, that's cool. No, I mean, I'm fine with killing everyone, but I, I would like to kill the targets first. That would be good if I could manage that. And that remote detonator charge thingy, remote breaching charge, is still there. It's still there, exactly where it's supposed to be. So if I just hide here and wait for them to do their examinations again... Oh, no! No! No... Yeah, he went that way. He went the, the other way, the way I'm not going. Who have we got here? Infected gardener and infected bodyguard. And a non-infected gardener probably going to be infected any time. Any time now. Let's see. 17 infected! Stop. There you go. Now he's infected. You've just doomed him. Doomed your mate. I hope you're proud. Drop this here. Okay, let's try that again. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm just, just popping out. It's fine, it's fine. Right, it's behind the thing now. I don't know if it's p powerful enough to kill them both. I'm hoping so. If not, I'm going to need a different plan. So here we go, here's the patient. Right, here we go. Don't spot the breaching charge. Right, patient in the seat. Breaching charge behind the thing. Both of them there. Let's hit the button and see what happens. That was rubbish. That was rubbish. Oh my god. What's the what is even the point of a remote breaching charge? Honestly. Right, there we go. Jeez. Honestly. Um Oh, here we go. Uh, Alright, there we go. Now just don't go infecting anyone. Good. Alright, let's go and see about those actual targets. Just like a little mercy, little mercy stab with a syringe for you, poison kill, and for you, what have I got? What do I have in my arsenal? Not very much. Coins and guns. Guns and coins. Jesus. Hey, so, um, sorry about it. If you could walk somewhere secluded, I can have this done nice and quick. And he's not infected, but he, any second now, just wait for it. 17. There we go. Man, I am not good at controlling <laughs> outbreaks. Right, I'm in combat, apparently. Big surprise. There's 29 people I need to kill. 29. Oh, God, they're all... Oh, it's just everyone in the level, isn't it, basically? Oh, jeez. All right, well, off we go. Sorry, buddy. I don't even have enough ammo for this sort of thing. Right, that's that contained. I really, I'm, I'm really out of my depth here, Diana. I mean, oh, I hate that bug where you try and subdue someone by attacking them from behind and they turn around and you end up smashing them in the face. I call it a bug. Hello, sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back for the bodyguard outfit, I think probably get me around upstairs more easily. And I think I'm pretty close to where I need to be, just up these stairs. Okay, I've murdered the dudes that were trying to clear up the results of my last mercy spree. And there's one infected gardener still standing. Ah, uh, right, okay. Oh, no, you need to die as well, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, jeez. Let's, um, let's do what's necessary. Good night. 32? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 
How's it going? Good, thanks. How about this virus? Huh? Crazy stuff. I hear a lady got it and it looked like she'd been shot twice and pushed over a balcony. <laughs> Nasty business. I need everything I can get my hands on. I've got so many people to murder. This is gonna be this is gonna be the first time I do a hitman level and I've just killed everyone, isn't it? Target lost! Target lost! <laughs> I must squeak everywhere I walk in this rubber suit. I'm amazed they've managed to lose me. Well, choices. I reckon. Trapes uphill with this propane canister, because that's got to be good for taking out a bunch of people at once. And I'm, I'm really looking for quantity rather than quality of kills now, in that there's 15 people all infected. Now let's just regroup a second. Take a moment to centre ourselves with this lovely view. And then we need to kill all these guys. Right, I can't go through here in this outfit, but that is where the doctor is. There's like four non-infected people that I guess I'm going to have to save. Hopefully someone will come out. There we go! Because I can't get in through that door without uh, like a passcode or a biometric scanner or something. And for you, I've got a screwdriver. 47? That's my lucky number. Unlucky number for everyone else. Are you not dead? Yeah, I'm sorry, lady, you need to die as well. Oh! Oh, the way she's fallen near the door, um, it stayed unlocked because the like the biometric key is in her... Well, in her, I guess. Or it's like in her clothes. They have like a key tag. I don't know. How are you guys doing? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I'm going to put this on. I think that'll unlock these doors but I'm gonna go and try and do something about the patient first anyway the doors open and I am free to swan right in with a propane tank uh, maybe plant it gently in this doctor's office am I allowed to go in there I don't think I am allowed to go in there but maybe I can maybe plant it just outside the office and then lure them out after me Sorry, lady. Sorry. That was the most humane way to get rid of you. Uh, also, you surprised me while walking around the corner. Don't don't surprise me. Mate, don't even try it. You're just riddled with virus. I diagnose virus. I prescribe screwdriver. There he goes. Yeah, fell right in his chair. Yep, cold and calculating. That's me. How are we still on 52? The numbers are going up faster than I can kill these people. They come through? Yeah. Oh, whoa. He is not uh, looking good. He looks like that guy from the end of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, mid-skeletoning. He seems a bit out of it. I could maybe choke this guy out and he wouldn't really know what's going on. But the announcement said he's going through for a checkup. So if I let him go, I might be able to get both targets together at the same time. I'm going to leave it. He's calling it in. Why don't you come over here and call it in by this propane canister? Yeah? Why don't both of you come out and examine this suspicious propane canister? Stop trying to arrest me. I'm honestly I'm I'm doing this for the good of the world. I'm saving the world here. I really want my money's worth for this propane canister. So if you could all crowd around it, that would be ideal. Yeah. Yes. Yes, going to have a little Little propane bonfire out here. Don't don't spread out. <sighs> okay, well, all right, they're spreading out individually, so that's sort of good. I can like pick them off one by one, like a like a predator. We're the screwdriver. I wonder if this is going as badly for Andy and Jane. I wonder if that they're having to kill this many people. Forty-seven. I'm still registering infected in the hospital. Yeah, all right, Diana. To take care of it before leaving. Oh my God! This virus to spread. Not pushy much, are you? I'm. Do I've got a plan, Diana. Working to a schedule. Who's the hitman? Me. I know what I'm doing. Oh God! Why are you looking down this corridor? Stop looking down this corridor. Yes. And who else wants a bit of screwdriver action? Oh no! Oh no, not not she Bob the bodyguard. He's dead now. I've got a hashtag on my back. <laughs> hashtag TFW. You killed a bunch of people in a hospital. Well, there you go. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he was infected, Diana. On the plus side, it's not going to be hard to get a reservation in this restaurant now. There we go. 
Yes, that's right. Look at the coin. Okay. This way, please, Mr. Cage. All right. Hopefully, these two will meet up for an examination, and I can do something. Okay. You're infected. Oh, and see, see, he was infected like, <laughs> like momentarily before I shot him. So, loophole? Definitely. No, no, no. no. You saw the yellow skull, Diana. I feel bad because all of these people are kind of begging for their lives. And that makes me feel awful about this whole situation. All right. Now time to retrieve my precious, precious screwdriver. Oh, screwy. This, I mean, from the perspective of my victims, this must be horrifying. I mean, just a guy in a hazmat suit going around, punching people out and snapping their necks and occasionally shooting them if it's easier. God. Is one of the symptoms of the virus incredibly slow walking and uh, yeah sure let's switch it up go for a black tactile neck and red gloves red shoes oh they're like shoe covers okay fine you're allowed oh no not today please just be when, <laughs> not today when is a good day for a murderous rampage lady Yeah, I know. I know. It's bad. It looks really, really bad. Back down to 10 infected and one more bodyguard. Screwdriver in the neck. Classic 47. That's my new signature kill. Uh. Oh, it's that cowboy. Well, it was that cowboy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I just... This is just feels horrifying. I'm just... Uh, I mean, I knew I was a bad person before, but now I feel like a really bad person. I can see a sprinkling of, oh, and a, a very nearby infected person. S yep, screwdriver in the shoulder for you. How's, how's everyone in the spa? That guy's still, I mean, hasn't noticed that everyone in the hospital's been murdered. Still having an excellent uh, jacuzzi. And is fine as well. Everyone in the spa's fine. Healthy living, that's what it gets you. I'm coming through the labs. I'm going to see if there's anything I can do because I think the targets are together at the moment. So, what are you doing? What's that button? How do you do this level without killing like 100 people? Oh, God, you're infected. No, everyone in the spa will be infected if I don't kill him. All right, infected doctor. You've got a date with the screwdriver in the right in the carotid jugular. I don't know. I'm not the doctor. You're the doctor. Well, you were the doctor. Now you're, you're just the corpse. And where do they get these body... Where do they keep coming from, these bodyguards? Oh, I'm getting shot at now. No one understands me. <laughs> or this disease that, for all they know, I've made up. <laughs> Completely invented in my head. What's this about? Initiate incineration procedure. Um, yeah. All right, we're just tidying up now. Getting there. This guy. Please don't! So, do we think I'll be remembered as history's greatest monster, or the man who saved all of mankind? Probably, I reckon, history's greatest monster. What do I have in my bag of tricks? How about... Ah, oh, crowbar! Ace! Just wang that right at his lucky head. There we go. And you fellas, not so lucky. Screwdriver in the face for you, and a gentle punching for you. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh no. Oh no is right, friend. Alright. Wow, that went super well. Okay. Uh, let's get you hidden. Uh, great, and then we can just... We can get the F out of here. And no one else is going to get infected, presumably. Unless they open that cupboard downstairs, but why would they do that? Now we're in the laundry. Laundry room. Well, I've I've traced another victim of the infection, and it's look. I am genuinely sorry. I'm. There we go. Just shh, shh. Oh, I bet they got into the spa, didn't they? I bet they've gone into the spa. I really tried to save the people in the spa. Honestly, I did. No, wait, they're all. Oh no! Oh no, they are. Oh god! All right, here we go. Sorry. It's for your own good, I promise. Four infected. I can see them all. They're in the hospital wing. Um, 
Lady, get out of the way. You're blocking the target. Oh, no. Lady, I'm sorry. Collateral damage is off the scale. Uh, this Is this cool, fellas? Yeah, good. Right, I'm... Oh, there's no helicopter, is there? Um, all right, I've got to find another way to get out. Um... All right, couple couple of options. Reasonably close. One's on the other side of this plastic. Screwdriver you to death. And and three more. And they are this way, in fact. No, oh, look! You just infected that lady. I saw it. I saw the little yellow skull appear above her head. Back across here. I'm in the sort of upper floor of the hospital. He's having a bad old time. Doctor, I've got something for you. Yeah, it's a screwdriver. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I can't go without my turtleneck. It's very in this autumn slash winter. Plus, keeps cold out. Uh, there it is. Good. Yep, looking stylish, 47. And, dressed like this, got to do a bit of mountaineering to get out of here. Two more. Hooray. Okay, who have we got? Just a... Uh, Doctor looking pensively out at the last thing you'll ever see, screwdriver. And finally, finally, oh no, it's the hospital boss in his locked office. Oh, even the morgue guy. Well, at least they won't have to move him far. Oh, how do I get him out? Coins? Coin, maybe? Is he interested in coins? He makes the big bucks, he probably doesn't care for coins. He's got a white dot, so clearly he knows I'm not meant to be there, and I'm not really a bodyguard. Oh! Oh, I think he heard. I think he heard a coin. It can't be that simple to get him out of his high security office. Yes! Screwdriver in the face. Well done, no one else is infected. Well done 47, indeed. Everyone that is the infection. Stopped in its tracks. This guy's clearing up my mess. And I'm just... I'm out of here. I am... I'm in the wind. Hey. Like a ghost who's killed like 300 people. I'm gonna make my way. Helipad? Helipad, helipad. Let's. Uh, no, no, actually. Um, snowmobile. Why not? Treat myself. My screwdriver throwing arm is dead tired. Oh, there you are. I am terribly, terribly sorry. But it has to be this way. Yeah, I'm just gonna subdue you. I feel like I should do something maybe theatrical with you. Bye, Hokkaido. I had a nice time. Just so you know, I basically saved all of your lives. No big deal. But, you know, maybe a statue or something. Be easy to carve. Don't really have any distinctive features or hair. Hair's always the tricky part. What? Why are there guards up here? What are you guys guarding? This rock? Very well, done. well, good job. It's still here. Oh, okay. Oh, don't, don't patronise me, Diana. I know that was a right hot mess of an assassination. <laughs> this guy is going to be so dead. So amazingly dead. Over you go, buddy. Last of my targets. Target we well There he is. There he is. Let's just hope the virus can't stay dormant in this corpse and be found by future generations. And go for it. Go, go, go. Exfiltrate. Exfiltrate. Yes. All right, 47, careful. It'll be pretty embarrassing to slip and fall off here. I mean, funny, yes, but embarrassing. And with only one non-target kill that was allowed by the agency. Very well done, 47. Thanks. And I'm right by the glass bottomed cable car. That's disconcerting. Man, don't come here if you've got vertigo. Right. I'm out of here. Probably best if we never speak of this again, Diana, I'd say. Probably. Let's leave this one off my record. Alright. Yep. Silent Assassin. No evidence. Sounds good. Inferno. It certainly was. Let's see what my rating is. Yeah. Five Hitmans. Silent Assassin. Uh, and only one infected eliminated. So not too much collateral damage. Pretty happy with that. I cannot wait to see how Jane and Mike got on. Wow. Well, no Hitmans and no surprise there. I only killed five non-targets, which I think, compared to th 37 infected, is uh, it's quite a small proportional number of non-target kills. 
Well done, me. Well, I only killed 11 people who I wasn't supposed to kill. But my, <laughs> my total score was a big fat zero. A big old duck egg. <laughs> um, I, I killed 112 infected people. 112, man. You know, it doesn't seem that many when you're doing it, but then when you see the number afterwards, you're like, oh yeah, maybe I... Maybe I did kill 112 people. That was the last of the Hitman Patient Zero missions. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Outside Xbox for more Hitman. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.